Let's make some awesome instant pot chili. Really rich and really delicious, and best of all, really easy to do. Here's our cast of characters for the chili. We'll go through all the ingredients as we go. They're also gonna be listed down in the video description below. First, we're gonna set our instant pot to saute. We're gonna wait till the LED reads hot. Then we're gonna add two or three tablespoons of olive oil, one half pound of really lean ground beef, like 93.7, and then one half pound of sweet Italian sausage. I just bought Johnsonville sausages and then cut them out of the case to get my half pound. We're gonna stir that around and cook it probably till it's about halfway through. Then we're gonna add one large onion diced, one red bell pepper seeded and diced, and one small jalapeno pepper seeded and diced. We're gonna add about two teaspoons of salt. You can see I just eyeballed that. And about two teaspoons of pepper. And that's what it's gonna look like after about six minutes of letting those vegetables sweat down a little bit. Then we're on to our next step, where we're going to add three cloves of garlic, minced, two tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and one teaspoon of dried oregano. Let's stir those spices around and let them cook for about two minutes to bloom a little bit, and then we'll add our final ingredients. Three quarters of a cup of red wine, I used Merlot here, three quarters of a cup of beef stock, one 15 ounce can of red kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed, and one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Then we're gonna stir it and get all those ingredients nice and incorporated. We'll put the lid on our Instant Pot and we don't need saute anymore. So now we're gonna go over, turn the Instant Pot off, then go to manual and set our timer for 10 minutes. After about 10 or 11 minutes of heating up, my Instant Pot really seemed like it was trying to come to pressure, but the pin wasn't quite popping up. So I kind of reached over and just pushed on the top just a little bit. And as you'll see, the pin popped up. Let me know in the comments below if that's ever happened to you or if that's something you do or if I'm doing something wrong. Our chili cooked for 10 minutes under pressure. Now we're going to let it naturally release for about 20 minutes. And then I'm just gonna turn the Instant Pot off and then release the remaining pressure. There wasn't really much pressure left at all. It just took a second. Okay, we're done. Let's give it a stir and see what we've got. This turned out absolutely fantastic. I love the Instant Pot, and I'm normally not surprised about how good things are in it, but this chili really got me. This was rich and thick and tasted like it had cooked on the stovetop for two hours. Let's get it plated up. Gonna serve it with a little bit of sour cream, some corn chips, and I didn't have any cheddar cheese, so a little bit of shredded mozzarella, and just a few drops of sriracha to give it some heat. This was a family favorite and everybody enjoyed it, and we hope you give it a try too. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.